start our sharing sessions. We would definitely love to have you here in our sharing sessions, but we appreciate that you are extremely busy. So please feel free to leave the session if you want to do so. Uh, now let's move to our first sharing session. So um, I would like to introduce our first presenters. Uh, Amin Rahman, he is, I think he is, yeah, he is making a good presentation. So he is of, uh, Mr. Rahman is of Bangladeshi origin, he is, but he's been living in Melbourne since 1980. He has obtained several degrees, including bachelor's degree in electrical engineering, MSc research degree in computing, and MA in applied linguistics. Similarly, he has worked in eight different countries. He retired in 2003, and since then he's been involved in teaching English and the use of computers to underprivileged school dropouts in Dhaka. He is co-presenting today with his colleague, um, Sarif and Fatima, so Sarif, uh, Sarif is, Sarif has graduated in English literature and he has completed master's in English education. Currently he's a lecturer in English at Adamsey Cantonment College, Dhaka. And Fatima has completed her MSc in sociology and she is currently working as a teacher at Muhibur Rahman Academy, uh, Bangladesh. Over to you, Amina and your team. Yeah, before before you start, uh, I would like to request Ram Asis Girisar uh, to chair the session. All right, thank you, sir. Okay, uh, now, Amin and um, his team, please. Start yeah. the session now. You have okay, 20 minutes. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you uh, very much indeed. Uh, uh, can you all see the screen? Yes. Can you see? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, uh, thank you very much, everybody. Uh, the organizers, uh, particularly Ram from Melbourne and the three S's uh, from England, Ireland, <laughs> and Bangladesh. Uh, uh, respectively for organizing such an innovative program for promoting international collaboration in ELT. Now, every Bengali, both from Bangladesh and West Bengal, know what the word Adda, the topic of our uh, presentation today, means, and they partake in this activity whenever they get a chance. This is also an Adda. Today's session is an Adda. It is not my concept. I did not coin this word. I just use the century old custom as an approach to teaching spoken English and listening. Okay, now I'll start the presentation. Okay, these are the three speakers. And now I'll start with, again, uh, defining what is Adda in English. Adda means expressing oneself. Now, Adda is very popular activity or pastime for Bengalis, as I said before. And there's a very good article by Trachten Berg, which you must read if you're interested. And in Adda, there's normally no fixed topic, Adda buzz. They sit together and talk about anything and everything. And we think that Abda uh, sharpens one's mind and thinking capacity. In Adda English, the discussion takes place in English, not in Bengali, mainly to help develop and improve the English speaking skills of the Adda bars. Okay, this is our Adda. So you see group Adda is taking place here where people from London, Melbourne, Dhaka, Silet, and Kumilla are taking part in a group Adda. And here there's a one-to-one -one Adda between uh, a mentee in, in Silet and mentor in, in, in Melbourne. Okay. So how does group Adda in English work? All five, we started with six, all five other bars are volunteers. They were taken on a first come first serve, serve basis. 
and all other bars, as well as a few mentors who are free at the time, like uh, uh, Najma, uh, she comes, visits us quite often. In this session, by turn, each Adda Baz has to talk about anything for five minutes in English. They do not get any preset topic to prepare. As one round takes about 30 minutes, each Adda Baz gets three turns. Now, this is a control Adda. So each person gets roughly equal time to talk. While an Adda Baz is talking, others cannot disturb him or her. If anyone has any comments about someone's talk, he can express them when his or her turn comes. Okay. Now, how does one on one Adda in English work? An Adda Baz, mentee, talks with a mentor living outside Bangladesh. Okay. So we have currently 20 mentors of different age groups two English, three Australian, and one American. Others are of Bangladeshi origin, long time residents in these countries. Each of these mentors agreed to talk to one Adabaz on one on one basis once a week. The Adabaz who were very busy during the pandemic preparing and delivering online classes make time to contact and talk to about four <coughs> mentors in a week. Now these Adas have lasted from 30 minutes to four hours in one instance. Such talks expose mentees to different English accents. There are accents all over the world and make them confident English speakers. The Adabas now no longer feel shy. After each mentor-mentee talk, a mentee writes comments about the talk. Mentors who feel like also give feedback. Now comments are all stored. Now what went well related to my teaching and learning? All Adabas improved in their speaking fluency from zero speaking to fluent speaker they have become. Okay, in pronunciation, in English vocabulary, in English grammar, in their writing, because they write comments. So there also they get some practice. In their general knowledge about different topics, culture, accent, countries, talking to different mentors, in their overall confidence, particularly in speaking and listening. Okay, now what did I do categorically to achieve success? Now I created, I think, a very friendly environment. The weekly session is very friendly. The mentors are all friendly people, as you have seen one of the mentors here, and are keen to help. And we do not have a teacher-student environment. No sirring, no madaming, no bhai, no apa. Everybody refers to the other person as either Mr. or Miss, okay? And they do not feel frightened and nervous. They feel that they are talking to a family member and getting advice and learning about different things, music, even bringing up a child, okay? Now, what did I do category to achieve my success? First of all, we use very senior, mostly retired and experienced mentors with a lot of experience, both in their fields and other matters and very high teacher-student ratio. We have a very five students to 20 teachers compared to 100 plus students to one teacher in Bangladesh schools or one teacher to 25 students in the West. Now, very high discussion consultation time with mentors. They get at least four hours per week compared to one to two hours per month research students get with their supervisors. Okay, now what were the signs for success? Mentees continuing in spite of many difficulties and comments by mentees and mentors show clear signs of success. One mentor who is ILTS examiner gives his assessment about each mentee's possible ILTS score that is gradually improving. And one Aussie mentor, pure Aussie mentor, not like me, is saying that the mentees initially understood him about 60%. And now after three months, that has gone above 90%. Mentees have started similar programs in the form of speaking clubs with their students. And mentees are continuing after 15 weeks and paying a small fee, which goes towards charity. 
Okay, do I have any plan to build on or extend the success? I've asked mentees to spread the program within the school to students and colleagues and community. They've already started and we are prepared to help other interested parties anywhere, Bangladesh and Nepal or anywhere else to start similar program. That is why we have joined this forum, okay? All right. Now, this is the brief profile of the current five mentees. You'll see they're in the age range 25 to 35. Okay, young. And this, this is the, sorry, brief profiles of the uh, mentors. Now, you'll see they're of different age groups, but you'll see some green colored uh, items, which are mentors who are in my age group. They are all my school fellows or college fellows or universities fellows. There are about nine of them spread all over the world, okay? Now, this is just an example of a schedule we make. Here you see uh, one mentor, NI, speaks to the same mentee three weeks in succession. Okay, MR. All right, all right, so this is now, now I have said, okay, I've done this thing. I've cooked up this thing program. Okay, now in English, you're all English teacher, you know the very famous uh, proverb, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Okay, I have given you this pudding. This is a, a group adda pudding, and this is the one-to-one -one adda pudding. But they look very nice, but do they taste as good? That is what we are going to see next. This Sharif, Ul Islam will talk about group adda pudding and uh, Fatima Farid will talk about the one-to-one -one pudding. Okay, so I hand over the microphone to Sharif. Sharif. Yes, thanks Mr. Amin for giving me the floor. Hello everyone, this is Sharif from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'm going to talk about activities in weekly group adda in English. This other takes place from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. on every Saturday on Zoom. There are three round other sessions. In each round goes with 30 minutes, where all the mentees can speak for five minutes by turn. But no preset topic is given for the talk, where all other must speak the topic on the fly, I mean, on their own way. All right. Uh, so these these adda uh, goes with a very friendly and informal manner because here all the mentees can talk freely, frankly. So mentees have to go through different performance like telling stories or uh, singing phonic songs or loud reading uh, with intonation. Uh, so here guest or visitor also gets involved in adda, and sometimes uh, sometimes uh, chief mentors uh, always uh, uh, chief mentors our uh, our chief mentor mentors. Uh, shows uh, demonstration in, in our mistakes and everybody we get individual feedback at the end of the adda. Next. Now I'm going to talk about how group adda is successful. This adda is being successful in many ways, many respects. Adda, this adda session is being held on every Saturday where 100 person attendance expected. If someone is unable to attend, he or she has to notify during entire adda session, video camera of all attendees are on. Uh, all adda bars have improved pronunciation by reciting phonic songs and nursery rhymes, uh, learning new vocabularies, practicing new sounds, etc. So here, all the mentees can uh, uh, check their problems or mistakes in speaking from the recorded audio from the previous session. Uh, our mentees always there uh, keeping the records of clocking hours of speaking and listening on Google Sheet. Next. How and what mentees learn from group ADDA? Mentees learn to talk in English on any topic. Mentees learn to listen to others talk uh, where uh, all, his, all his mentees have to be uh, careful about what other, what other talked because anytime our chief mentor can ask question uh, at the end of the session. So they're learning correct pronunciation of multisyllabic words with stress in English speech. 
they're learning on uh, the learning different words uh, sentence stress and sentence to make their meaning clear and uh, they're learning uh, how to intonate while speaking and improve their speaking style with intelligible sounds they're learning new words and expressions from listening and speaking they're they're learning uh, from the demonstration of the chief manager next this is a wonderful thing how have mentees improved by attending group ada here uh, here there is here is given a comparative scenario of the mentee's performance uh, before three months, uh, how they were, and after three months, what happened to them. Before three months, all mentees were very shy to speak English, but they're not any shy anymore. They didn't know about English sounds like uh, uh, fa, va, wa, za. So already uh, they internalized most of the sounds. They didn't have any idea about uh, or stressing on syllables in multisyllabic words or stressing in uh, in sentences uh, and intonation even they become gradually they become aware and learning uh, uh, these features they, they had a few english expressions but they learned more expressions after this uh, uh, three months program they had a fear of present presentation in in, in public in speech or uh, on, on on audience so uh, and, and they had fear of also in appearing at interview uh, they didn't fear anymore. They had limited vocabularies. They enriched their vocabularies uh, or more extent. They didn't know about even uh, how to maintain Google Sheet or Google Docs. They can easily handle these things. And they had a little tendency to speak English, but uh, uh, they speak quite open with others right now. Uh, then they knew the little talking etiquette but they know uh, talk, talking etiquette quite well. They had a trouble with babbling or stumbling while speaking and what to say, when to say, but they can speak fluently and coherently. Even they didn't have any idea about the probable IELTS score in speaking, listening, but they already know about it. So uh, what, uh, uh, next. Yes, uh, the, here, here uh, I, I can uh, share about the outcome of this ADDA, where all mentees are using this model in teaching and learning spoken English. They're conducting ADDA in English as English language clubs for teenage students or adults. They're getting good response from the learners. Learners are regular, number is increasing, and their learners, uh, uh, they're paying a little fee to avoid the dropouts. Uh, this is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much. I'm going to hand over my microphone to my co-mentee, Ms. Fatima Farid. Thanks, Minister Sharif, for giving me the floor. Uh, you have five minutes. Uh, now I'm go uh, going to talk about uh, what happens in one-on-one -on -one ADDA. Uh, the mentee has to take an appointment from the mentor as per his or her uh, schedule. Mentor and mentee speak in a friendly atmosphere. Uh, mentor normally allows the mentee to do the most of the talking to give his or her speaking practice and so on. Uh, next. <clears throat> Here we see a mantle and manti a talking. Next. Following the next two slides, uh, legends show different colors. Here green means the conversation took place. Blue means conversation didn't take place. Mantle was busy or un unwell. Red means the manti uh, missed the talk. And pink means the manti was uh, on leave. Uh, uh, and so on, next. And round two, uh, uh, already I demonstrated the colors. We see round two, most of the conversation took place uh, as part of uh, schedule from the green boxes. And uh, blue, uh, blue, we know about that uh, Manto uh, was uh, unwell and busy or busy. And pink, uh, from pink boxes, uh, we can see that uh, Manti was uh, on leave. Next. Uh, from this chart, we see the result of conversation uh, that took place in green, 60%. In red, 8% conversation didn't take place. Uh, Manti means man to talks. And uh, uh, in blue, 7% uh, the talk did not uh, did not take place. Manto was busy or unwell. And in pink, 11% uh, uh, conversation did not take place. Uh, Manti was uh, on leave. Uh, next. 
this slide defines the different uh, types of uh, clocking hours, mental hours, uh, non-mental hours, listening, on, uh, listening only hours, and listening in conversation hours. Next. Here we see uh, all landmarks uh, in speaking and listening hours. Landmark one says that Manti needs 25 hours, non-mental hours 75, only listening 50 hours, and listening in conversation 50 hours. Uh, landmarks of, uh, two and three and four require the different level of speaking hours and listening hours. Next. Here we see a sample of records, the Google Sheet. Uh, Manto hours are 25 hours, non mental hours is, uh, 62, and uh, listening in uh, conversation 77, and only listening 66. That is the end of my presentation. Now I'm going to hand over the microphone to my, man, my mentor, Mr. Amin Rahman. Thank you. Unmute, please. And, uh, un, un, yeah, un, unmute, unmute, I mean. Okay, sorry. Uh, okay, so thank you very much, both of you, uh, Fatima Farid and Sharif al Islam. And this is our teaching model, saplings to forest. So this is an individual mentee. I water them and they grow up. And this is once they grow up, they form their uh, from this English speaking club. Uh, and this is the mango trees. So in time, we'll have lots and lots of mango trees and we'll have the orchard or forest, which people from other places will come and see. And we can have similar orchard and forest in Nepal or other places. Okay, with that, I end our presentation. Thank you very much again to the host and all the guests for listening to us. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Amin and, and the team uh, for uh, completing your presentation on time. Very informative, very uh, well researched, well organized and well presented. Please note that there is a question answer session at the end. Say, if you please make a note of the question.